This is peak 16F877A for be change interrupt circuit. This is the peak 16F877A. We have here four push bottles and four LED. This is a simple circuit as we can see. We have here four pull up resistors for these four push buttons. These push, push buttons are connected to RB4, RB5, RB6 and RB7 which is respons responsible of the port P change interrupt or RB interrupt on change. Let's run this simulation. As we can see the four LEDs are on. Let's now start pressing and releasing this button. Okay, when this one button here pressed and interrupt the cube and the output of these for it is will change. Now let's release this button. It's it affects on this LED. Let's press now the second one. The second button affects on the second LED and so on. One button is pressed or depressed and interrupt occurred and a change on the port D. This is the working of this simple circuit let's now see the CCS C code which is this one let's pop okay this is the C code of this interrupt we have here 16F8778 microcontroller we have this microcontroller runs at 8 megahertz crystal oscillator we have here variable i declared as byte we have the here this is the interrupt routine interrupt rb and we have here this is the main code we have set 3 for these four these four pins here are configured as input we have clear interrupt using this line the interrupt flag bit of the RB change is cleared we have uh, enable interrupt interrupt RB we are using this line the interrupt RB change is enabled and we have enable interrupt global these two lines here enables the, inter the enables the RB interrupt on change and we have here this is while true which is an while endless loop which means the microcontroller keeps rotating on this empty while loop when a button here is pressed or depressed the microcontroller jumps from this empty endless loop to this to execute this routine here we have here i equal to input b using this variable i the input the port b the port b states is stored in this variable i and we have here output d which is which the led are connected to the LEDs here are connected to RD port from 0 up to 3 output D equals to I shift this symbol here shift right by 4 the, the variable I here stores the, uh, the whole port B which means we have here the 4 highest bits and we have the four lowest 
those bit those bits for the rd there which means we have to shift shift right this port the port b should be shifted right if we remove this shift right here let's see what happening what will happen in order to, to understand that's run the simulation as we can see as we can see here the shift right is removed and the output becomes at this piece let's change which means this push button acts on this pin here okay this is the result let's This is a simple, very simple code for this interrupt and a very simple circuit. It's easy to understand. Someone asks that what, why there is no clear interrupt of the, the RB change flag bit, or why there is no clear of the, of the interrupt flag. Bit. The answer is using this using this line here. The interrupt flag bit is cleared, or the interrupt flag bit is cleared when there is a read or write on the port port B. Okay, that's all what we have. Thanks for watching.